this trade mean to this team in the room? No, I mean, I think that uh, we're obviously, um, you know, sad to see Turi go. He's someone who's been a part of this organization for a long time and put in a lot of work and effort into to getting to where we are today, and, and not only as a player, but as a you know, community leader as well. I think that him and his family did a lot of good things for for everything uh, you know that involves the city of Ottawa. So in, in that aspect, I think that uh, you know uh, it's something that we probably would have wished would have been a little bit different, but it is what it is. And, and you know, in in uh, you know having him go, uh, I think it's great that we're getting a guy like uh, like Duchesne in, uh, who's a quality player who who wants to you know go to a team like this, and and he's very excited to be here. He's a Good player and someone that uh, you know is, I think is going to help uh, you know uh, elevate our game uh, as a team a lot. What does it mean to you personally to see the team going out and trying to get better? Obviously, thinking that the team is ready to win now. No, as I said, I think we we lost a quality player in Turis. He uh, he's someone who uh, you know has been here for a long time. He got us to uh, you know where we've been in the past, and and again, um, it's it's sad to see him go. And and I think that. Uh, when that situation couldn't be solved, couldn't be solved. I think that uh, it was a great, uh, you know, effort from uh, from the organization to try and get someone to replace him right away. And, and I think that they did a great job in that. And I think that the fit for for Deshane here will be great. And I think that uh, he's someone that we've been after for a long time, and someone that we've seen, uh, you know, uh, come into this group and and fit in, in in the style of play that we want to play. And and you know, the dedication that he has to hockey as well, I think is is going to be great for for everybody around here. What can a change like this uh, do to the locker room, inside the locker room? It's, it it's, uh, it's a lot of different ways. I think that, uh, you know, in this business, I think that everybody who's been around for, for a few years have seen this happen before. Uh, maybe not with two quality players moving. Uh, teams like, like just happened yesterday with, with Duchesne and Turs, but, but still it's something that we're accustomed to and something that we're, you know, used to dealing with. And again, uh, it's going to take uh, uh, Matt a few few weeks probably to get uh, accumulated to everything around here and, and you know getting the hang of things I, I'm sure that he's a little bit overexcited right now and it's hard for him to take everything in and it's going to be a lot of information in a short period of time and and uh, you know uh, in a month or so I think that he's going to be you know uh, as settled in as, he's, as he as he needs to be and that's when you know you can really start seeing the impact on things if, if it's going to change and and again I think that um, you know we lost a, a quality person in Turi someone that uh, you know, ran a lot of things around the team, and and you know had a lot of impact on on a lot of things uh, that doesn't only involve hockey. So uh, we're going to miss him greatly there, and and it just means that someone else is going to have to step up and you know share some of the workload that he took on because he did a lot. Are you anxious for Sweden? Anxious? Excited? Uh, excited yeah. yeah, it's going to okay. be fun. I think uh, it's been a long time since I was in Sweden in, in November, so uh, it's going to be fun to uh, to be there that time of the year for for a change and then again you know see some family and some friends and being able to play two good games over there is something that uh, you know don't come around too often so I'm going to try and cherish it it's as much as I possibly can I think and uh, uh, it's going to be fun for everyone I think that uh, most of the guys in here have never been there and, and probably never had any plans on going there either so it's going to be great for them to to see the culture you know uh, especially since we have a lot of Swedes around the league and, and you know most of the guys in here have played with one or two more Swedes over the course of their career so yeah, I think so. I think he was going to go there anyways, right? So uh, didn't really change for him. He's just sitting on a different plane. But uh, I think it will be nice. Uh, you know, every time you go on trips like this, um, you know, you spend a lot of times, uh, a lot of time around the guys. And I think that he's going to, you know, find his uh, his niche around the group. And and uh, I think that uh, it comes as a perfect timing for for everything that's been happening. Uh, that Christian Schubert was yelling at someone to hit me from the bench. <laughs> That's pretty much about it. Uh, I didn't like that. Uh, I just remember, you know, uh, the ceremony before uh, for Alfie and everything, and, and um, you know, bits and parts of the game. Uh, I think we lost 4-1. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's one of those moments again. I was young and, and probably overexcited and, and didn't have time to stop and uh, you know take too much in. Um, but uh, it's definitely something that uh, I remember and hopefully it'll be the the only time I play against Ottawa.